everyone, it's Stroffly here and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple freeze plugin and learn about Arrayless. So to start off I'm just going to show you guys something that just to start off the plugin. You're going to want to go into your main class. So hopefully you got this all set up for watching the video if you haven't go ahead and do it now. But once you've got it all set up you're going to want to make a static Arrayless that takes strings called Frozen and then you're going to want to clear it every time the plugin gets enabled so just put frozen.clear in the on enable method <coughs> excuse me and then uh, right at the bottom of your main class you're just going to want to make this uh, get frozen uh, method just to, and it just returns the array list so that's about it that's for the main class and then we're just going to go on to freeze and I can't exactly remember this, so I'm just going to get something up quickly here. Here we go, and my computer's being slow. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. So, we've made the array list, and now, actually, we're going to go for the event first. So, um, obviously, in every class you want to access the frozen array list, you got to put this, and just use freeze.getfrozen to access it. So then that's fine. Um, basically you just wanna make it easier to get the player I think I spelled that right, probably didn't my computer's decided to lag a little bit right now so do excuse me for any errors um, you're gonna wanna make an if statement to check if the player or the player's name, sorry, is in the array list if it is make sure they get back to there so they just wherever they came from they go back to that's basically it and then p.send message no sorry message manager dot send message sender and b you are frozen here we go oh sorry it's player isn't it I want the computer to stop lagging so much. Oh, jeez, what have I done? Okay. Okay. P. There we go. So my computer was lagging for a little bit, and that was a bit weird. Okay. So that's the event part of it done. Um, I'm just going to do it now, otherwise I'm going to forget. I've got to register the event. Come on. There we go. And whilst we're here, we might as well... Uh, register the command and there we go we're gonna move on to actually getting them to be frozen which is obviously the main part of it so we're gonna check if they've got no args or more than one argument so we only need to play his name so then obviously we're going to want to send the uh, incorrect usage command uh, so message this is what I do for all of my plugins, so it's fine. And this makes it pretty easy enough so that a uh, console can do it and I don't have to do anything special. So now that we know they've got only one argument, we're going to want to get that player. Actually, no, we're not. Um, great. <laughs> um, yeah, that's deprecated. Okay, I have to do the really long method then. Um, so then, we yeah we can do it like this I suppose. Player target equals null. Someone just put me on Teamspeak. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Um, 
do, 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 do. so and then player p we're going to constantly check if p dot get name dot equals ignore case arg zero I'm sorry about the notifications coming up right now. Um, I'm just gonna set this to quiet mode. Quiet hours, there we go. Okie dokie then. <coughs> okay. We don't get named Oaks and so Okay. That so there we go. Um Oh yeah, it's a toggle thing. So anyway. So uh P dot get named or equals ignore case arg zero and then target equals bucket dot get player from P dot get unique ID. That's now working. Okay. So obviously it won't be null. And just to do this, boolean target found equals false, target found equals true if they've been found, and then if not target found, then message manager dot send message sender and see so arc zero is not online. Return true. There we go. So yeah, I had to change my method for that. I was not expecting to have to do that. So um, obviously that's basically check if they're null. Basically, if they're null, it means they're not online. Um, so then we're now going to want to check if it if it already contains their name. Get name. Then obviously we're going to want to remove them from the list. So remove target or get name. And then obviously send the sender a message saying yeah Yo, you've unfrozen them. You have unfrozen target docket name. Uh we we're also gonna send a message to the target, we might as well. And a uh, you have been unfrozen by sender dot get name return true so there we go otherwise just add them to the list oh shit that's not what I wanted to do oh, oh yeah add string e and then target dot get name and then send the sender a message oh shit dot send message sender and a you have frozen target target name and also send the target a message you oh shit, put that in B you have been frozen by sender dot get name return true again so that's it and yeah I think that's pretty much done um, I think I've already done the plug dot YML. If I haven't, no, I haven't done it. Okay. Plug dot YML. I don't want it in now. I want it in there. Actually, I suppose we could do it in number plus plus. Yeah, we can. Okay. So first off, we're gonna want to allow it to identify the main class, which I've forgotten. Yes, it is. Okay. Me dot astrophilite dot tutorials dot freeze dot freeze name freeze version 1.0 description a simple freeze plugin to practice um arrayless author is me strophelite and then onto the commands so the one command is freeze Toggles freeze mode for the specified player. There we go, and then export it out to. I uh, not care. 
freeze bush and open this up we're going to want to copy to plugins that works and then reload to server and head on to minecraft oh I want this mode there we go um so far so good um I didn't think I've got a heal off feed clan now I don't game mode one there we go um f so slash freeze oh flash freeze stuff light okay you've been frozen by a light there we go it worked first time surprisingly I did not think that would happen okay that does spam your chat though so um just gonna quick show you guys um events if you want to disable that message it's just gonna be as simple as that re-export it Oh shit, what's happened? Exported with compile warnings. Yeah, there we go. And then copy that to plugins, replace it, boosh, reload. And I'll see you're not frozen again. Freeze. Strophilite. You have frozen Strophilite, you've been frozen by Strophilite, and I'll see I can't move my head at all. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to see when I bring out more videos like this one. Until next time, see ya. Okay guys, just a quick addition. I completely forgot that I did not show that the unfreeze works. So freeze a straw light, I'm frozen. Freeze straw light again, and I'm unfrozen. Just to show you guys. That's that's now the end of the video. So if, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to see when I bring out more videos like this one. Until next time, see ya.